Do you want to add a complete working climbing system to your game on Roblox Studio? If so, you're in the right place. In just a few minutes, you will be able to make a fully customized climbing system easily. We'll do everything in just a single local script. All right, let's build the system from zero. First, go to Starter Player, then to Starter Character Scripts. Inside there, make a local script and name it Climb System underscore one. Now open the local script and let's start. First, we need to declare all the services we'll be using. Next, we'll create a configuration table to keep all our settings in one organized place. Now we'll set up all the variables we need. First, we'll create variables to get the player's character and its core components. Next, we'll prepare the climbing animation by loading it from its asset ID so it's ready to be played. Here, we'll set up some variables to manage the script state, like whether we're climbing or which keys are being pressed. Now for the core of our script. We'll write two functions to handle all the logic for starting and stopping the climb. The stop climbing function will act as a reset switch responsible for returning the character to its normal state. Next, the start climbing function handles all the setup, applying the special physics that hold us to the wall and starting the animation. We'll make our input handler to track which movement keys are pressed and to manage the jump off action. First, we'll make the input began event to track every key press and handle our special jump off action. Next, we'll make the input ended event, which simply tells our script to stop tracking a key once it's released. Finally, to bring it all together, we'll create the main loop that runs every frame to handle wall detection and apply all our climbing logic. Inside the loop, we'll first set up the Raycast's rules to make sure it ignores our own character. With our rules ready, we'll now define the Ray's path and fire it forward from our character to detect a wall. Next, we'll create a variable that confirms if our Ray hits something and if that something has our climbable tag. Now for the brain of our script, a logic check that runs different code depending on if we are currently climbing or not. First, if we're climbing, we need to handle what happens when we reach the top of the wall. Next, we'll set up our movement vectors to define which way is up and which way is right along the wall's surface. Using those vectors, we'll now check which keys are being held down to build our final direction of movement. Now we'll use that direction to update our body velocity, which will either move the character or hold them perfectly still. And for our final step in this block, we'll make sure the character always stays facing the wall while climbing. Finally, the else block runs when we're not climbing and its only job is to check if we should start the climb. Let's try it out by creating a part, size, and position it as you like. After that, we need to apply the climbing system into our part by checking the property of the part, scroll down until you see the tag section, add the new tag that we have defined on our script, and we're done. Let's try climbing the part we just made. 